Welcome to Dr. Brumfield's Elite Athletics. I am Dr. Brumfield. So, we're going to be talking about the sciatic nerve today. The sciatic nerve is one of the largest uh, nerves in the body, and it's basically two nerves. You have the tibial branch as well as the comoprone. The tibial branch uh, actually supplies nerve innervations for most of the back of your foot, or excuse me, the back of your leg, uh, where you have the common peroneal uh, also supplies the uh, muscles in your lateral leg as well as the front of your thigh, okay? So, why is it that the sciatic nerve is so painful? Now, um, as, a, as a chiro, I am not exempt from the sciatic nerve. I do have two herniated discs, um, L4, L5. I know this nerve well. The best way that I can explain how the sciatic nerve feels for someone that has not explained it, you know, back in the day when I was a small kid, they had um, westerns. And every now and again, you'll see the bad guy or the good guy, they would light like a stick of dynamite. And, and then what happens is when they light that stick of dynamite, then the camera will pan in on the fuse. And as, you, as, as the camera is panned in, you see the fuse just goes across. Slow and steady, slow and steady and you see the burning of the fuse or the stem going through. Now, to me, that is what sciatic feels, sciatica feels like. It's that burning, nonstop pain that will go from your buttocks all the way down to your toes. What makes L, excuse me, what makes the lumbar nerve, the, excuse me, what makes the sciatic nerve the, the biggest nerve? The sciatic nerve is made up of five nerves lumbar L4, lumbar L5, sacral S1, sacral S2, and sacral S3. Now it's also important to mention that if we were to cut ourselves in half, right, and split right side, left side, you're going to have the same exact nerve roots on each side. So we do have a sciatic nerve on the right side as well as a sciatic nerve on the left. Now this sciatic nerve passes through our hip, out through our buttocks, down our leg, down our shins, all the way to our feet and to our toes. Now, that is the nerve when it's healthy. Now, it's important to mention the piriformis muscle. The piriformis is a flat band-like muscle that runs from the side of your sacrum down to the lateral hip. The piriformis is located at the top of your buttocks down to the hip joint. This muscle is important for the lower body movements, meaning moving your legs, right? Uh, because one, the piriformis stabilizes the hip joint as well as it helps you to rotate your thigh and also move your hips, excuse me, move your thigh away from the body, okay? So it's called an AB doctor. So the piriformis is an AB doctor. 87% of the time, both branches of the sciatic nerve actually runs underneath or below the piriformis muscle. So the piriformis muscle, because it's a band like and it's helping your legs rotate, your hip rotate and your legs go away, a uh, abduction, right? And so what happens is, is that small muscle becomes tight and it starts to constrict. We can usually see someone with this constriction because their foot may flare out when they're standing still, right? So it may go out a little bit. Basically, that's an indication of piriformis tightness. Now, when this piriformis muscle tightens up, then it would give you what you can also call as the burning pain, pain in their glutes, the glute max, pain in the butt, right? Sometimes it may go down the leg or as all the way down into the, the toes based on how tight the piriformis muscle is. So what we need to do is the difference between sciatica and the piriformis muscle is the sciatica is basically you have a problem with your nerve roots in your lumbar spine, right? So that's the lower back pain. And then with the piriformis, you have a problem in your glutes and it's also gonna travel down. They're closely, they closely resemble each other, but the cause is the difference between the two. It's also important to tell you that, or to discuss that um, there's different variations or there's different degrees of sciatica. So you can have what's called as acute, and for our purpose, we're gonna say anything from zero hours to 72 hours, 
versus chronic, which is 72 hours to weeks. Sciatica, sciatica symptoms can last anywhere from one week to two weeks and go on a little longer depending on how severe you are. Um, in that time, you're gonna experience the numbness that we talked about. Um, you may have pain even after it subsides a little bit. You may still feel some numbness. Um, most often people complain about the increased pain or the increased numbness while they're sitting, prolonged sitting. But again, uh, even though we stretched and you're on the rebound, you can still have these symptoms for up to a year. So there's a discussion about how do I make this feel better? How do I get rid of and how do I relieve the sciatic nerve issue? Um, what I like to tell my patients is let's do an alternating heat and ice. 10 minutes of heat, 10 minutes of ice. And this can provide immediate relief for the sciatic pain. Ice can help reduce the inflammation wall as heat encourages new blood flow to bring in uh, healing uh, blood, nutrients, and, uh, and, and those, those disease-fighting cells uh, to help us to recover quickly. Um, heat and ice also help to ease the muscle pain ease a spasm of the piriformis muscle uh, that oftentimes uh, accompanies sciatica. There also may be other factors that will cause you to experience this dreaded sciatica symptoms. Um, one could be age-related uh, changes. You know, over time, our spines change, our body change, whether it's traumatic in my um, in my situation, it was a traumatic incident that gave me uh, the, the herniated disc at the same time. It could be bone spurs, which bones are gonna limp and spur over time from malposition and wear and tear. Um, the most common cause of the sciatic nerve, um, the sciatica uh, symptoms is obesity. So controlling your weight, controlling your flexibility, controlling your endurance, just getting out and walking. Even walking helps you to relieve those pains. There are some stretches that I'm gonna go over here really quickly. Be sure to look for part two of this video where I actually have a patient and we're gonna take them through the assessment of this as well as the treatment so you can see in the clinic setting what we actually do for a patient with sciatica. So feel free to drop an email or a comment in the comment box if there's a topic that you have a question on or a, cover, a topic that you would like us to cover. Um, also, again, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, okay? So I wish you all well, happy training, and enjoy your day. Take care, we'll see you soon.